Hey everybody, this is Juan back with another review. And right now I'm going to review Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Blaze Master. So as you can see, he uh, he's this nice helicopter mode. Lots of panels all around him. I mean, this is a great figure. I mean, if you see from the other side, practically no robot cable. What I'm talking about practically. The only thing you see here is this. You don't even know what the hell that is. So that's negative robot cable right there. But unless you're really looking for it, um, you can kind of see his head in there, kind of like breakaway. Well, you can't really see it through the camera because this is very dark blue. But if you look at it through the light, you can kind of see the head. But anyways, he's a great helicopter mode. I mean, he's a news channel helicopter. Obviously right here, Channel 7 News and all that stuff. He's got a nice Autobot insignia right here. And he has a nice little gimmick where he pushes a little blue, clear blue um, tab right here. His rotors spin. And they do this type of free spinning, which I wish it would have done on the blackout mold, but you know, whatever. It's too late for that now. But still, this is a good figure right here. I mean, the detail that it has around it is pretty cool. I mean, he has a little uh, landing gear. You can fold up. Yeah. This little uh, rotor right here in the back does not spin at all. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, right now I'm going to take it to robot mode just to show you what it looks like Which, what I do first is I take this whole propeller thing, I just take it off just take that off, instructions so say you don't have to but it's pretty easy once you do that then what I do is I just crack that like this not crack, you know, just take it apart uh, which becomes, you know, a little piece later on, then what I do is I come here and bring these down like so you want to keep bringing them down. You want to fold this up as well. That was just to get these loose. Then you take these down, and then this will come down nice and smoothly. I want to separate this and bring this, bring this a bit backwards because it's going to become like extra cable in the back. But these are going to become the legs. So you just want to bring these down and give them like this chicken foot type of thing going on. There you go. Same thing with the other side. Then what you want to do is you want to bring these up here. You want to separate this. And here's the tricky part. What you want to do is right in here, there's a little thing that you gotta bring up. And then what you want to do is you want to bring this up like so. You just want to twist it, rotate it, bring it around like so. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. This is a pretty tricky comp uh, transformation as it is. Something wrong. No, that's right. These come forward like so. You want to fold this in. But before that, you want to. There's a little thumb in here. You just want to bring that forward. Like so. And then you fold it. There we go. Same thing with the other side. Let me just do that real quickly. It's a pretty involved transformation. I mean, uh, if you're not careful, you can mess up pretty easily on this guy. Because there is stuff going on everywhere. I mean, stuff swivels all over the place. I mean, it's cool. But, like, if you're not into intricate transformations, then I guess you wouldn't like this figure. Like so, I just got stuck right now. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to open this part of the cockpit up, bring the nose cone down, and you just want to open this like so, and he's got like this sort of automorph thing going on, Let's see if we can do that. See his chest closes like so, and here's his head. He's not done yet though, you gotta fix all of this. Basically you just want to split this apart. Bring these in like so, and then these can twist out like this. Let's see. There we go. Then you want to rotate this, and then all this is just gonna come up. Hmm. That's 
looks like it's not going. Oh, it got caught on something. There we go. All this comes up. And yeah, like this. You can actually have this however you want this. But that's how the instructions said to make it. So you got this kind of little backpack cable. Not that much. I mean, he does have like a hole right here. But other than that, he's pretty much finished. I had to practice a little before I started to review him. But other than that, Blaze Master is a pretty cool figure. He has a weird angles of articulation. And his transformation is not the easiest thing you can come by. I mean, this is really a challenge right here. And then for the little roller blades, since you can split them in half and put one on each side. But mine is a bit loose and doesn't really want to hold them that well. Um, let's see. Got plenty of time. Just give me a second and here we go. Here's one and here's the other one. What it does is that on this side it's supposed to attach this little groove right here. And it stays in there pretty well until you move it or until you like you touch it and it just likes to wiggle a lot. It's 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 come off before and I think I need to do something right here. Nope, there it is like that. This one just flops like that. No real big deal. I mean the feet he has he has a knee right here. See if you can see that. There you go. This is knee right there. He has these other points of articulation, but that's because of this little chicken feet, little angle things going on there. But he does have an actual knee like that. It just comes off. So what I do is I attach it back to normal. So that way he's got this big ass rotor right here. His arms, they can, they could move 360, um, but it's. The way it's transformed in uh, all this kibble here, it doesn't really allow it. So you do get an elbow at least. It goes up pretty high. Same thing with the other side. His legs are on arm ball joints up here. His thighs, I mean. So you can have him with some dynamic poses if you like. And he's very articulated in the legs, so you can just get him in some dynamic poses. The only trouble is the arms. The head can rotate 360. It's kind of hindered a little. It's got like this little uh, thing going on. It's not really on a ball joint, but you know, this little up here it can move. So whatever, you can do that with whatever you like. Other than that, he has a very interesting robot mode. If you can get everything to line up properly, then what you get is a nice looking robot. I mean, all this adds to the figure. I mean, all the kibble and everything. Uh, but if this isn't what you're looking for, then I can honestly tell you that you can actually pass on this figure. There you go. There's just a certain unique style to this figure that wouldn't really appease to everybody. But other than that, he's pretty interesting. If you're even th considering getting one, sure, why not, you know? Just check him out. There is a repaint coming out of him. It's going to be in the evac colors. This is going to be like the second time we see Evac in the movie line. But yeah, this is Juan with another review, and I'll see you guys next time.